First and foremost, Aaron, it's so great to see you back managing, healthy. How are you feeling after the procedure? I, I feel great. Um, I really do. Um, I'm, I'm so glad I've, I got it done now and out of the way. And, um, you know, made, just made me realize um, how good I was not feeling uh, the, the months leading up to that. Just wasn't, wasn't quite myself. Just had to kind of reach for it a little more than normal every day. And, um, you know, since, since I came out of surgery, I almost instantly felt like, felt like a different guy again. So that was, it's really nice. And, uh, and the outpouring of, of support and people that have reached out to me has been really touching. You know, we heard you uh, with Meredith the other day, Aaron, and, and sharing some of these thoughts. But what what made you finally say, hey, I, I need to do something about this right now? Um, well, I was back home in, in Connecticut. I would just I felt like I needed to get checked up. Just, you know, I've been getting my heart checked on now for 30 years, you know, knowing I've, you know, what I've been through in the past and stuff. So I just wanted to make sure went through some checkups and everything was checking out well until I wore the monitor and they realized, you know, my heart rate was low and and not, you know, rising properly. And, you know, I think it was a classic case of the, the pacemaker being needed. So um, I had a lot of conversations with my doctor in California who I've, who I've known for 30 years, who I know really well. He kind of talked me through it. And so I knew I, there was there was a level of confidence that a, I needed it, but uh, that it was going to really make a difference for me, and, and it certainly has. Well, that is great to hear, and it's great to see your energy out there and know you are feeling better. I'd imagine also made you feel pretty good watching your starting pitcher today. What would you think of Jordan Montgomery? Yeah, another really good step for him. Um, you know, two innings last time out in Sarasota, um, and, and then – the command, just the, just the, you know, pounding of the strike zone, um, really in control, you know, in his three innings there. Even the inning where he got into a little bit of trouble with some soft contact against him, he's able to, you know, not flinch and just uh, work his way out of that. So I thought, all in all, a really good day's work to get to his three innings, but also really pitch efficient as well. Yeah, Aaron, welcome back. You know, we you know, we were all pulling for you and feeling for you and thought you did a great job of handling everything, keeping everybody at ease, including your team, you know, to understand what was going on and educate them. You know, and obviously, you know, when, when you came back, you know, you're right back into the thick of things. And then you got wet, you got a weather day and you got to make a quick call. Garrett Cole's not going to go down. We're going to do a simulated game. How did that work out for Garrett Cole? Yeah, I, I think it was good. You know, we, we got with Garrett and um, kind of, you know, gave him the lay of the land and ultimately let him make the call. Like, do you want to play around with the weather or do you just want to go ahead and get it done? I think at this point in spring, I think, you know, I think Garrett made a wise decision to just, you know, be able to get his work in knowing it was just going to be a two inning situation of, you know, he actually ended up getting close to 50 pitches, which was good. Um, but I think later in the spring where you're talking about four and five innings, maybe more of a decision, but I thought uh, I thought it was good to get it in and out of the way and get him built up. Also allow Jamison to, to start that game down there. So all in all, with some of the weather issues we had, uh, I was happy that our guys were able to get the proper work in. Speaking of Jamison Tyone, Aaron, what stood out most to you about watching his star yesterday? Well, you know, coming off the first start, and obviously you're coming back from injury and your, your new team, so you just want to get all these firsts out of the way. And um, I thought in his first start he was really good. He threw seven pitches, so it was almost like he, he almost didn't break a sweat out there. We, we sent him down to the bullpen to finish off. And then um, for him to go and have a real clean first inning, give up a couple hard hit balls, and get into a little bit of trouble in his second inning where it drove his pitch count up. You know, he had to hold runners. He had to get on the same page as far as just, you know, sign sequencing with, with a runner on second base. Things you got to do and get used to. And then execute pitches when you're in a little bit of a jam. And, and all the while, just taking another step in his build up so I thought it was a really good day for him. Two straight strikeouts here from Licky, who is ahead of Harper now, 0-1. Oh Aaron, how about John Carlos Stan today? I mean, two just rocket doubles over 109 miles per hour off the bat. And you've talked about you think the version we saw in October last year could be even better than the MVP version of Stanton. 
What about the at-bats do you think is an even elevated caliber? Yeah, I've, I've felt that way, guys, really since even 2019. I just feel like he's gone to another level as far as his preparation, his, his mindset, his understanding of him, the league, what guys are trying to do to him. I just feel like he's really good at focusing. So, well, you know, he's a little bit older than whatever he was, 27, when he won the MVP. I, I think the the knowledge that he has while still being a pretty young guy, if he can, again, the important thing is making sure he's posting and getting out there 140, 145, whatever times. And if he does that, I'm really confident that some massive results could be there. Gary Sanchez also off to an excellent start this spring. How important is that component, Aaron? Gary getting off to a good start this season. Yeah, look, I, I don't want to overstate it, you know, because, you know, I think we, we look too much into these things sometimes, but certainly coming in and getting some immediate results coming off of last season is definitely nice. But I love his work. I love what, how he's looked behind the plate. I love the, the, the work he's been putting in each and every day, the ownership he's taken of his work, and excited about where he's at and what he's going to do for us. Well, Lucas Lickie strikes out the side, which means we don't get any more time with you, Aaron, but thank you so much. And Jerry Lane we'll says hi. Soon. All right, see you guys. <laughs>